you know, when it comes to the Batman, it just seems like it's one of those times, just like lots of people parody the whole Back to the Future thing, be like, hey, I found a sound you're looking for. It sounds like this. Yeah, um, I think the Batman is basically what they were trying to do with Amazing Spider-Man. It's like, that makes perfect sense. The only rest of the part is like, they fueled so, they put so much stuff in and then they had more extra stuff. And it's like, what the, f where's the music that you promised us? And I know, I've been around for so long that now I should understand that there's music that they use to make people hyped. And there's music that actually are, is in the movie. One exception definitely has to be the original Spider-Man movie. I'm going to take you on a roller coaster. And the other one is like, yeah, there's like at least two or three. But the thing is that the music was so good. I forgot that that even was a part of it where I was like, you know, what? hey, what in a minute. And then I'm like, eventually I get to the point where it's like, and I didn't miss the music at all. I didn't miss any of the music at all. So it's like it's either you do better than what the music does or you set the tone when you show the trailers. The Batman did that. They showed one music and they entered, they began the movie with the song and they ended the movie mostly with the song. Ah, perfect. At least you freaking didn't actually act stupid. Like what Amazing Spider-Man did. It, just, just check it out for yourself. The teaser trailer of Amazing Spider-Man does not... The teaser trailer theme does not match the one that we got in the movie. <laughs> oh boy, it sure doesn't. Then they decided to do a few things where I was like, Okay, I think I'm getting into this. Where the first one was... Doom, 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 doom. Doom, 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 doom. Dun, 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 dun. It's like that one. It's like most likely I'll have it in the icons. It's like I have them in the cards. So yeah, that was a good one. And then the one that really actually made me be like, oh snap, was of course how to eat your girlfriend. I forgot what it was called again. I keep on forgetting it. I remember it was. I forgot what the name of it is. It's like I'm back to the basic one being like Goblin Squad. I think it was called Goblin Squad. It's like, no, most likely it's not. But anyways, whatever. It was... I'm like, oh yeah. You're... Oh yeah, that, make, that makes perfect sense. Oh yes, get it in there. And... What we ended up was an 80s like cop thingy. I mean, there's some that actually doesn't, but the thing is that when it comes to being a hero, heroic, it sounded more like you're doing 80s cop music, dude. They should have got freaking Hans Zimmer in the first damn place. Just saying. Just saying. But, anyways, that happened, and then we had a lot of freaking indie rock groups or music groups that are a part of it too and it's like oh good lord why did you do that <laughs> why did you do that what the hell <laughs> yeah it's like and some people are like oh crap <laughs> just like it makes inspire too it's like oh crap they put in a pop music for you for you it's like it's the same damn thing. The only one that was decent enough was when he was getting a growth spurt and you had down, 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 down. It's like, that was okay. That one fit. That one fit. That one definitely fit. So, yeah, someone definitely was doing some weird stuff with the freaking thing. I guess the worst part has to be the fact of, oh my goodness. And hold on, let me see. Hold on, give me one second. Sorry, I had to look at the ending of The Batman one more time. Yeah, I just had to watch the um, the website. But anyways, it wasn't even crazy. It's like, yes, an amazing Spider-Man did that too. Yeah, Tumblr was popular to where they were like, all right, well, here is lots of Daily Bugle news, especially with Shocker. And it's like, and also remains of a scientist was found in a... 
sewer, which they basically got rid of the, you know, the deleted scene. At least they gave us that deleted scene. Oh, anyways, dude. <laughs> oh, boy. But, yeah, what's even worse is Amazing Spider-Man, even in a video game, did the same crap. They did the same crap. What happened? It's like, yeah, it's like, it's just to make sure. It's, it's like, yeah, to make you freaking just support the freaking game. It's like, I want that freaking song in the damn game. It sucks that I had to actually download it. And while I was playing Amazing Spider-Man, I was just playing it in repeat. It's like, yeah, I shouldn't do this. It should be in the damn game itself. Turn the lights off. Turn the lights off. Turn the, turn the. It's like. That should have been in a damn freaking video game. Nope. I had to do it my damn self. Sucks, really. Really does freaking damn suck. What the hell? So, I'm just saying that when it comes straight down to it, the Batman is basically what Amazing Spider-Man wanted to do. It's basically what they wanted to do. It's, it's kind of sad where it's like, yeah, um... I mean, Superman did the horrible thing, the same thing that they did. So they, it's like DC, well, it's even Marvel was freaking Sony. It's like, even so, it's like you both went down a rabbit hole that you shouldn't have done in the first damn place, which is pretty damn funny. So it's like, yeah, you can't really say that. Oh, well, WB is a saint. And it's like Marvel knew not to do crap. They knew not to do anything like that. They weren't that stupid, but WB? Oh, WB, what the heck? Are you that stupid or something? Uh, but still, at least the props on that where it's like they did exactly what they do. And heck, they did even more so because they already showed two. It's like, if you would have done that, it's like, yeah, it's like if they would have not panicked and just did that, I'm pretty sure like Amazing Spider-Man 3, they would have been able to do it because it's like, okay, so first you have the two bad guys. You had freaking Riddler, and you have the Joker already introduced. I know that this is DC, not Marvel, but hang with me on this. And then after that, they have, like, what, Two-Face shows up, and maybe even Penguin got thrown into this, and it's like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Hold on, hold on, let me check something out real quick. What's going on here? Okay, it's a repeat. Okay, good, thank goodness. All right, <laughs> I just had to just check it out. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah, Two Face, and then you had um, Penguin, and then I'm just doing low key ones, and then you have um, Scarecrow in the third one, and he breaks everyone out, and then it turns out he's working with Poison Ivy, and there you go, look at that, they got the center, the Sinister Six. All right, all right. I know again this is DC, but I'm just saying their template was pretty is pretty good. This is what you wanted, right? Sony? This is exactly what you freaking wanted. And here you guys go being a dumb complete idiot. You're being completely and stupidly an idiot. And well, now they don't have the strings that much, but still well, they're still pulling that off, aren't they? I mean, yeah, it's like they're still making mistakes even after they were like, oh, well, we understand how to make these movies now. And, well, let's look at Venom. Well, it wasn't that bad, I suppose. Venom <laughs> let there be carnage. Oh, it was horrible. Oh, that was the dumbest idea ever. Oh, you didn't understand Cletus as a character. Oh, good Lord, you idiot. And then Morbius. Well, you shouldn't have cut lots of stuff. You shouldn't have cut it, but oh well, freak it. But I'm just saying at the end of the day, a decade later, they did exactly what they wanted to do with Amazing Spider-Man, and that's pretty sad that you... you, you, you of course, Sony's not even looking. We're like, what? What are you talking about now? Even though it's like, yeah, you gotta kind of feel very messed up and... You gotta feel very insulted and saddened by the fact of this is the movie you wanted to do. This is the movie you wanted to freaking do. It, it, it just caused pandemic in the city. Sure did. The hero has to 
Yeah, Hero kind of actually in consequence did it. Well, more so with Spider-Man. He kind of actually caused the issue with the lizard. But as for Batman, he kind of accidentally inspired the bad guy. Yeah, and this is like year two for him, while Spider-Man was like year one. Even so, though, th I'm pretty sure this is what you wanted, right? This is what you wanted, and lo and behold, you kind of have to feel sad and messed up about it. It's like, I don't know, I'm pretty sure they all don't give a shit anymore, and you don't care. But let's just say the fact of, look at this. The Batman is basically what they wanted Amazing Spider-Man to be. And they fucked it up. <laughs> And they refused, which, yeah, let me tell you, Spider-Man, no way home. Why are you hiding the DVD? Why are you hiding the deleted scenes, you idiots? Why are you hiding deleted scenes? Why are you doing it? And Amazing Spider-Man, they did the same exact shit, too. I think they only gave us a little bit, but there was even more that they could have gave us. And they refused. And it's like, uh-huh. Uh huh. Why? Why you frozen? Why you refusing? You did a lot of reshoots. Show us the other version of the reshoots, you bastards. Show us the other versions of the reshoots, you damn bastards. Nope, they're not doing it. Nope, nope, they're not doing any of that. Oh no, not doing anything. It's like, whatever, whatever. But still, I think it's kind of funny where it's like, yeah, the Batman did a lot better than Amazing Spider Man. They did exactly what they wanted to do <laughs> awesome freaking awesome all right just walk out of the room and enter like you're at work hello no no <laughs>